Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today we had a stream from Roger Carpenter slash 4J Studios for Minecraft Xbox One that was an hour long, giving us an hour of Minecraft Xbox One gameplay. Out of nowhere, we have all of this now, and I'm going to be showing you 10 minutes of it today, so you can get the gist of it and a whole bunch of that. Uh, if you want to see more Minecraft Xbox One gameplay, because I've got a whole hour, please do like the video uh, and let me know in the comments what you want to see. Uh, this is so big, I am super excited. So I'm going to be analysing a lot of this. Uh, I'll leave some fit for you just you to watch, but um, I'm going to be analysing the gameplay as it goes along. This is slightly yes to be by the way for me, so I sped up some bits where it was just slow. Um, and yeah, that's just that. It's not the game running at hype speed. So let's go right into what's new and what's cool. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice are that the texture packs have been transferred over from uh, Minecraft Xbox 60, and you can use all of them, uh, which is really, really cool news. Uh, this screen right here actually looks a lot like the uh, Xbox 60 screen. Uh, it's almost identical, except for the fact that it, um, instead of having the seeds in here, it has it in the More Options section, which uh, we'll go into in a second. So now, uh, in the More Options, you get two types of options now. Instead of just Game Options, you get World Options, and game options. World options has the seed, which is of course super super useful. It has the world size, and then it has you know the actual options. So generate structures, bonus chests, and super flat world. Uh, if you want to what this world size does, it's got three, uh, four settings. Sorry, uh, large, medium, small, and classic. So large is the full size world we'll be showing in this video, which is 36 times bigger um, than the regular Minecraft Xbox 60 world. Classic is presumably the Xbox 60 world, and then the other settings are somewhere in between. So you know you don't have to go on polar opposite ends of the scale, which is really really cool. Four settings for world size. I'm pretty excited about that because uh, the, the larger worlds kind of uh, came across as weird for me. I'm gonna. I'm excited to see a world for each size. Uh, you know, doing some cool stuff with seeds and stuff. But yeah, let's go into what you can actually see at the gameplay now because we're coming uh, close to it now. Yeah, he's just typing in. Thanks you for playing Minecraft on Xbox. Uh, so next up, we're gonna be going into it. The city texture pack. Uh, you'll see the loading, uh, the saving slash loading screen here. It's really, really similar to Xbox 60. It might be a smidge faster, so like 10% uh, faster, but it's still a long, long thing. Which uh, there's something disappointing about that to me, but you know, it's still cool regardless I guess um so yeah, basically next thing you'll see uh, in the actual gameplay itself now, uh, we'll keep this at regular speed so you can see it all as it's meant to be seen, is the uh, city text pack looks exactly the same next gen, which I guess is to be expected if you like it, that's cool. Um, and as he flies around, you can really, really see uh, the render distance, it's really nice. Like, I don't think it's an entirely next genification by itself, like it, it doesn't make the game feel that much more next gen, but it's really, really great to be able to just see everything. Uh, I'm a real, real big fan of that um like uh, I, I think that might also help with some multiplayer stuff because uh, you know if there's fast chunk loading because of that I, it, it should be good so next up we're gonna be talking about how you know the actual stuff looks and that uh, it was only a 720p stream I believe so we really were getting the same kind of quality but you can see that everything is a tiny bit finer even you know downscale to 720p so it won't be that much you know noticeable it's again it's not the same for next gen type deal but it's that tiny little bit nicer and that's kind of nice so Final thing we're going to be talking about before we just leave you to watch some gameplay by yourself, uh, because it, this comes up, are uh, the maps and the world size. So, the maps do work on the PC. I've done a tutorial for this. Um, basically, you get a regular Xbox 60 size map, but you need 36 of those if you want to have a large size world mapped out. So, you'd have to make a like, 6x6 grid to show the entire world in maps. Uh, it's a really, really cool thing, I think. Like, uh, it, some people think that you should just have the whole world in one map, uh, but realistically, when the map's this big, it, you just wouldn't get anything done with that. Whereas this allows you to, you know, see each little region like individually mapped, which is really really cool. And um, you can see he heads further and further out past the Xbox 60 world, which is goes up to minus 432. Uh, he goes all the way out to minus 2,592. Two, I believe it is, um, which means the world size is 5,184 by 5,184, which is it's massive. It's it's really, 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 really big. Um, so yeah, really, really positive news there. Um, you can see this all happen, plus you can just watch the sites, you know, take it all in uh, with the rest of the raw gameplay, which I'll leave on here for you. Um, thank you to 4J slash Xbox slash Roger Carpenter for allowing me to upload uh, the gameplay of this um, and I'm looking forward to playing it myself if you guys want to see more gameplay as I said like the video I am super pumped thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video